Hello everyone, my name is Gaurav Yadav and I am a final year student of Faculty of Engineering and Technology, University of Lucknow, Department of Civil Engineering and I am going to do a seminar presentation on the topic LIDAR technology. Moving to the next slide that includes table of contents which are introduction, components of LIDAR, working principle, LIDAR technology in civil engineering, LIDAR technology versus conventional technologies, advantages and disadvantages, case study, future trends and the last one is conclusion. As we move to the introduction slide, we can see in the first point LIDAR that means light detection and ranging that uses eye safe laser beams to see the world in 3D, providing machines and computers an accurate representation of the surveyed environment or any structure and space. It includes these three technologies, lasers, the global positioning system that is GPS and inertial navigation system that is INS into a single system. LIDAR systems can make exact 3D models of their surroundings. It uses the ultraviolet visible or near infrared source to sense an object. Figure number one shows the visual representation of a LIDAR sensor and figure number two that indicates the scanned image through an LIDAR. The next slide contains the components of LIDAR. The first one is operator that permits operator interaction with the system. Data storage that captures all the system data required for the generation of XYZ target coordinates and computer that integrates interaction of the data. Laser of having frequency from 50,000 Hz to 200,000 Hz pulses per second and wavelength of infrared is 1500 to 2000 nanometer near infrared 1040 to 1060 nanometer and blue green light having wavelength of <coughs> 500 to 600 nanometer the second slide of components of lidar includes lidar trans receiver generates laser beam and captures laser energy reflected from the target and the next one is scanner a laser scanner has three sub components the first one is the mechanical scanner the ranging units and the third one is control processing unit Position and navigation system. Lidar sensor mounted on a mobile or static platform to determine the absolute position of the objective. In the next slide, we will be discussing about working principle of lidar. Laser generates an optical pulse and that pulse is transmitted, reflected and returned to the receiver. This returned pulse is collected and processed to obtain property of an image target. Receiver accurately measures the travel time. XYZ coordinates can be computed from laser range, laser scan angle, absolute location of a sensor and the figure number 3 shows the bullet points into a flow chart and that is working of a lidar. In the next slide we will be discussing about lidar technology in civil engineering. The very first point where lidar technology in civil engineering is used is hydrographic lidar survey. Hydrographic survey is the science of measurement and description of features which affect maritime navigation, marine construction and related activities. This LIDAR survey scans the coastal water, bottom relief of the sea or seabed with accuracy. Figure number 4 indicates the working of LIDAR technology in hydrographic LIDAR survey. The second use of LIDAR in civil engineering is by topographic LIDAR survey. LIDAR is primarily used in topographic survey. Terrestrial LIDAR can be rapidly map any complex sites in much more detail than conventional methods. LIDAR provides base sheet for any type of project, specific engineering project. Figure number 5 shows an topographic surveying through a drone. These slides include application of topographic LIDAR survey. The first one is automatic bridge clearance. Low vertical clearance bridge over the road are vulnerable to over height vehicle collision damage. LIDAR based bridge evolution is used for automatic bridge clearance. Figure number 6 shows bridge clearance uh, 3D map. The second application is in geology. In geology, a combination of airborne LIDAR and GPS have evolved into an important tool for measuring the complete area which helps to know the slope change and land breaks which helps us to identify the soil pattern on that area. Figure number 7 shows and dummy process of geological surveying. The third application is sewer and manhole maintenance. LIDAR can scan areas that are too dangerous for humans to enter. 
a robotic vehicle can be sent down seaward and take detailed survey of the interior system. Figure number 8 shows an image of scanned tunnel through a radar. In the next slide, we will be comparing radar technology with conventional technologies. Radar technology have day and night acquisition, while conventional technology have different acquisitions, which is mostly in days. Lidar technology have direct acquisition of 3D collection, while conventional technology have complicated and sometimes unreliable procedures. Lidar technology have vertical accuracy that is better than planimetric, while conventional technologies <coughs> have planimetric accuracy is better than vertical. Lidar technology produce a visually rich image, while conventional technology rich in cinematic information. Lidar technology data storage is accumulated at one place while in conventional technology data storage can be found in scattered manner in lidar technology the percentage of error is low as compared to other methods while in conventional technologies the percentage of error is higher than lidar technology in the next slide we will discuss about advantages and disadvantages of lidar advantages of lidar lidar have high accuracy and have fast acquisition and processing, minimum human dependence and weather or light independence, canopy penetration, it does have higher de de data density and cost benefit. In the next slide, we will discuss about disadvantages of LIDAR. Inability to penetrate very dense canopy that leads to elevation modal error, ineffective during heavy rain and have high operational cost. In the next slide, we will discuss a case study on LIDAR technology. LIDAR mapping case study by Polo Soft Technologies. The scope of this project was to map a road corridor which includes earthworks, highways, road markings, vehicle restraint system, fencing, drainage, traffic signs, structures, utilities, etc. using mobile and aerial LIDAR point clouds. A process guidelines document was prepared. Expertise with Stringent knowledge in mapping helps in the final round of the quality analysis. A random sample was analyzed to make sure the data was within the acceptance criteria. Figure number 9 shows the mapping of an area before scanning and the figure number 10 shows after scanning of the area through LIDAR. The next slide includes a video of the area before and after scanning through LIDAR which can be seen. It was completed on the date of 11 Feb 2012. In the next slide, we will discuss a case study mapping complex hospital crawl space by Velodyne LIDAR Technologies. The final phase of the project was to capture the 7400 square meter, which is 80,000 square feet, lower basement level of the hospital, which is a crawl space. To scan the place, LIDAR scanner was worn mounted on a RC toy car which could go through narrow spaces while scanning. In just under one hour, the 5200 square meter which is 56,000 square feet pilot portion of the basement was captured in three separate scans. The intricacies of the pipes and basement level details were captured and the resultant point clouds of 345 million total points. Figure number 11 shows a LIDAR scanner on the RC car. After scanning, the three point clouds were processed using Stencil's advanced software tools and merged successfully into a single registered point cloud. With an initiative interface, the real-time mapping visualization, the system can easily be operated by one person, thus saving on site labor and travel. The data capture was successfully completed in under one hour without the challenges of having to complete repeated setups and scanner calibrations. Figure number 12 shows the mapped area by the LIDAR. In the next slide, we will be discussing about the future trends of LIDAR in civil engineering. LIDAR has the potential to make a significant impact on industries such as navigation, construction, engineering, environmental planning and architecture. 4D LIDAR is an emerging technology that represents a significant in the field of LIDAR sensors. Solid state LIDAR is a technology that employs solid state diodes rather than moving mechanical parts to scan a target area. Improved accuracy and resolution 
मल्टी प्लेटफॉर्म मोबाइल लेजर स्कैनिंग इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कंक्लूजन लिडार स्कैन वेदर मोबाइल और स्टैटिक इट कैन बी यूज टू बिल्ड अ मॉडल एंड टू मैप अर्बन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एक्यूरेटली द परसेंटेज ऑफ एटर्स बिफोर कंस्ट्रक्शन कैन बी रिड्यूज डिजाइनिंग एंड मैपिंग कैन बी डन कंपेरेटिवली फास्टर लिडार इज इन्वायरमेंटल फ्रेंडली लिडार ऑफर्स ग्रेटर फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी हायर डिग्री ऑफ एक्यूरेसी मेक्स दिस टेक्नोलॉजी डिफर फ्रॉम अदर रिमोट सेंसिंग टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कटिंग एज टेक्नोलॉजी अवेलेबल टूडे थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर गोइंग थ्रू माई प्रेजेंटेशन